Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to talk about using Copilot for Microsoft 365. And specifically, I'm going to use it to uh, do graph grounded chat. And graph ground chat means I'm going to use Microsoft Graph uh, to query things like meetings and emails and documents inside of my system and ask questions about those things. Uh, it's, it's going to respect the permissions of those items and it won't return anything that I don't have access to, but I can still ask questions about that. To get started, I go to Microsoft365.com here, and you notice on the left side there is a Copilot link, and that just takes me to Microsoft365.com slash chat, which I could have navigated to in the first place. And on down here, we have some, uh, I can put free form prompts into here, or I can uh, use one of these things up here. So let me say, just translate the following text into French. How about that? Hello, how are you? These are just some suggestions. Bonjour, comment allez-vous is the answer uh, for things that you can do. And I can bring those prompts up again, view prompt right here to say things like uh, catch up on a meeting. Let's do that recap meeting, click on that. And it brings up a list of recent meetings right here. Why don't I do this AI code perfect agenda and fill that in. You can see that the prompts said summarize key takeaways and actions as separate sections, including who's responsible for each. I wasn't actually at that meeting, so I'm not sure what's going to happen, but it'll come through and it'll provide a prompt. I'm going to speed this up so it goes a little bit faster. And now you see it came back with a bunch of information about this and some links to a PowerPoint deck that was mentioned and a few documents in here, etc. I can also, if I want to go back to those prompts, I can click on view prompts, bring them up again, or I can type my own questions here. So one question might be, summarize any emails or Teams chats and channels in which I was mentioned during the past 14 days. That might be useful information. Maybe I want to start planning my week. It's Sunday night. I want to know what I need to do this in the upcoming week. Or maybe I just came back from vacation. I want to see this. Or maybe I'm just, I just want a quick summary of these things. And you can see as I scroll through this, again, I'll speed it up. You can see that it gave me a list of emails and teams that I did it. Uh, and I can follow up with things like go back another week before. And it remembers the context. It knew what I was talking about. Let's go back one week prior to that. So now I should have a third week of information in here. And you can see there it is. Another thing I might want to do is if I've got an upcoming meeting, I could say, how should I prepare for that meeting? If I press slash, in this case, it understands that I'm talking about meetings. So I'll come down here and I will uh, grab, how about Microsoft Research Technical Update, Update Briefing. That's a meeting that's coming up that I may or may not attend, but I wanna know if I do attend it, what's it going to be about, and what do I need to do in advance of that meeting? And here it's given me some advice about how to prepare for that meeting. Also, if I'm in the middle of something here and I don't want to keep any context, I can always click new chat right here and it clears all the history and now it won't remember that context. This is useful if I want to start over with a completely different topic. Here's another example of how I can use this. I'll paste in this prompt here. Write an email to my boss's boss. Now, I didn't tell it who my boss's boss is, but it's going to query Microsoft Graph, so it will know things like that. Uh, tell them I will not make the Tuesday 1 p.m. meeting, but that I will catch up. And I will watch the recording and ask him how I can help. 
uh, and be professional. It's a good idea to be as specific as possible, as specific as you can with what kind of output you're expecting. Do I want to be casual, professional, funny, etc.? Click prompt here or click that go to there. It knew who my boss's boss is. That's Scott. And it started looking at information from him so I could add some relevance to that. And it crafted a nice email, you know, very professional to talk about what, uh, what I'm doing here. In this video, I've shown you how to use Copilot for Microsoft 365 to write some prompts and to query Microsoft Graph to understand things that are happening inside of your organization. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.